Dan Giancola is a Thorold native. He had a stellar athletic career at Dennis Morris High School, and he spent six years kicking in the Canadian Football League. Although he's been away from the game for a few years, the fire is still burning inside that 37-year-old body. Dan Giancola is trying to make a comeback. It's just in me. It, you know, I, I think just the years of uh, trying to get there, not having the opportunity to play college university football. And, uh, you know, the long route that I had to take was 10 years in the making. And, uh, you know, 2004, I capped it off with a Grey Cup win with Toronto. And, uh, you know, the following year, there was just a lot of sickness. To put it, you know, I, the long story, but a lot of sickness on my wife's side of the family, including my wife having cancer. And, uh, you know, being Italian raised, you know, it's family first. And uh, having a three-year-old daughter at home too, uh, I just couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep going on with the career and having it on my conscience that my wife and everybody was at home and, uh, and not doing well, you know. So I made the decision to, uh, to take the last few years off. And uh, she says, you know what, if you feel it in your heart you want to do it and you still think you got it, go do it. And uh, I feel I got it. Talk to us a little bit about the conditioning. At 37 years old, a little bit different probably than when you were in your early 20s. Tell us about the conditioning program that you're going through now. I'll be honest with you, I, I, and, I, and I'm not just, you know, it's not for the sake of blowing smoke. Uh, I'm in better shape now than I was when I was 20-something years old. I love to train. I train three hours a day, five days a week. I take the weekends off to be with the family. Uh, I'm a personal trainer. I'm there 12 hours a day already in general, so it, it makes it kind of hard. But uh, I'm about 215 pounds right now, and it's probably the most I've ever weighed, and uh, I love it. I just I love everything about fitness. Now, some people have made the, uh, the comparison of uh, him being Rocky Balboa and you being trainer Mickey. Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's kind of a compliment. Yeah, it's 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 kind of his thing. It, it, he's told me the, the the Rocky Balboa story and the Rocky thing, and we kind of laugh about it. And then when I put this hat on the one day, he just said, "You're my Mickey." You know, I said, "What are you talking about?" And then he's so we kind of go with that thing. And you know, I, I kick his butt pretty good some days. And you know, when he's ready to push one more, one more. And, Knowing Dan uh, as much as you have the last while, uh, do you think he's ready to, to make a comeback in the CFL? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I really, in my heart, believe that he could go out there and hold his own right now. He can kick hard. He can kick strong. He's accurate. Uh, we come out here sometimes and kick 50, 60, 70 balls. And all that, he may miss one or two. And that's when I get on his case about focus and calming down and not trying to kill the ball, but put the ball where it is. It's just another practice. Put the ball where you have to put it and don't worry about blasting through it and put your foot over it. Just kick the ball. Now, conditioning obviously very important at any age, but uh, what are you doing to make the contacts? Uh, how, are you, how are you getting the word out that uh, you, in fact, are willing and ready to make a comeback? I went old school. I went old school. You know, in, in, uh, in 1990 is when I decided that I wanted to play professional football. And during that time, nobody wanted to touch me because it's what have you done, you know? I didn't play college university football. So I had to go out there and do for myself. I played 10 years semi-pro. I went to 131 free agent camps. And uh, I just didn't take no for an answer. I'm a firm believer, to, if you want something done, do it yourself. Uh, I've made the contacts. I played in the Canadian Football League for six years. I had an opportunity to go to uh, training camp with the Buffalo Bills back in 2000. I made a lot of connections that way. Um, I know what it's like as far as contracts and, and all that other stuff. I really don't care about it. I'll be honest with you. I, it's, money is not, it's never been an issue for me, and I made it well known. I'm not going back because I miss money. I'm making money at Good Life Fitness. I'm going back because I miss the game. I love the game. I, I miss seeing the guys in the locker room. Um, I miss meeting people. I miss being here like with you guys right now. Th th it means so much to me that you guys are here today. Uh, those are the things I miss. And I'm what I'm looking forward to right now is just going out there and prove to myself, nobody else, prove to myself that I can do it and, and play the game that I truly love. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's not the end of the world. I have a great cup ring. Um, I played six years. Um, I have a record in a record book. Uh, which I'm very honored by, you know, the first, first year player with the most points scored by a rookie, uh, rookie uh, player. I've done so much. And, you know, for somebody that said that, you know what, he didn't play college university football, he's never going to do it. I was a 29-year-old rookie, a 29-year-old rookie with no college experience. So what do I have to look back on and say, you know what, I didn't succeed? I mean, I have nothing but high respect for myself in a way just to say that, man, I didn't stop and I didn't let people dictate what I want to do with my life. And I'm not letting it happen now. I mean, for those who, who want to be there and support me, fantastic. And for those who don't want to, I fully understand because it's just the nature, it's our nature. You know what I mean? We, I think we tend to look at the, more, the negative things more than we look at the positive. Conditioning and trading, obviously a big part of Dan Giancola's attempts to get back into professional football. TV Kojiko wishes Dan all the best in his attempts to carry on with his football dream. But I'm just wondering, 
Can Dan, G, and Cole do this? Reporting for The Source, I'm Dan McLean.